So that when you walk into your bar and it's so quaint and lovely and it's just like the worst thing you can imagine to you're milking it. Alright, what's up? We're here with... Welcome drum dabblers and... Dabble, <laughs> go I don't know. Drum goblins? Yeah. I don't know. Um, so, before we get started, we were talking, we were discussing, does everyone know what a stool sample is? <laughs> um, uh, no. Yeah. No, no, no. No. So you learned today. I did. Wow. Okay. It was. I. I think I remember from Austin Powers movie. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Austin Powers the film. <laughs> Have you seen you Austin said that, Powers? You Austin said Austin that like Powers. someone who's never seen a never film. Seen a film. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit where he drinks a. Um, he drinks a stool sample. Ooh. And thinks it's coffee. Anyway. Has um, <laughs> anyone ever had to provide one? <laughs> uh, no. I who provides? I don't know. Sales? What are they I've looking never, for? I don't think I've ever met anyone who. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know necessarily. No, I guess it's not the kind of thing people. It's just not the thing you kind of ask when you first meet people, except for these lads. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, the band's called Dopamine. Hello. Hi. Uh, Do uh, dopamine. Uh, the dopes. Oh, no. <laughs> Has anyone ever said that before? Yes. Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> yes. That's bad. Have you got like a hate page? Uh, but to an extent. To have sure yeah. find one if you really yeah. Cause, uh, all, the, all the cool young bands have, need to have like a hate page. Yeah. It's usually run by someone who knows them and doesn't yeah. actually hate them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's go, go through, introduce everyone. What's your name? Uh, hi, I'm Juan. Mm -hmm. I'm Chris. I play bass. I'm Fanny. I'm, I'm, I'm Sean. And Sean. And now we do have two Sean's here, but this one is Sean Fleming, just to mm -hmm. clarify that. We shouldn't have said who the other Sean wants, and then we could. Oh, so yeah, who's, oh no, he, they already yeah. just said it. Who looks like a Sean? You just, mm. you know, you just both have glasses, so yeah. there's that. All Sean. Oh, Wait a minute, where did Sean go? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a bit about um, the band and how long you've been together and when you got started. Whose idea was it? Um, uh, me and Chris are currently the, old, we're currently the oldest members in the band. Okay, great. Uh, did, did I joined someone? like a week after. Yeah, like okay. December 20, <laughs> 2019. And it just doesn't count this way. And so... Because obviously Juan, you're the vocalist. Yeah. But um, did someone sing before Juan, or were you just like? We, we actually off? had no vocals for about, over a year. What? Wow, everyone really? just, yeah, everyone just passed around. They're all like a hot potato. I think it was meant to be me for like the longest bit, mm. and I kind of never got around. Yeah, you to got it. shy. Juan joined, and then he got <laughs> like he opened up to singing. Yeah, and then I yeah. really, really quickly did. Yeah, it's like oh, this is easy now. <laughs> so, so what do you sing back up in some of the songs or what? No, uh, we don't really do backup that often. It would be like I just literally have like whole songs. I oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. Blink One Eight Two style. Yeah. <laughs> I never really listened to them. Oh man, you guys are babies. First, you don't know about Austin Powers. You don't know about Blink One Eight Two. I mean, I don't you know, know about Blink One Eight Two. He does, and you saw Austin Powers too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, uh, <laughs> <30. laughs> yeah. um, And so, is it like fifty-fifty, or are you kind of more? Probably yeah, one doesn't yeah, yeah, Nice, nice, nice. And in terms of the, uh, the, like, the, how you would describe yourselves, we were talking about this before, like, do you, do, when people ask you, what do you describe yourselves as? In terms of genres, styles, influences, mm -hmm. all that kind of I, stuff. Uh, when people ask me, I just say indie rock and yeah. our influences, the Arctic Monkeys, but no, these guys would not say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, and, and you know what, I think it's a good thing, like, the, the Arctic Monkeys, obviously a great band, mm -hmm. but it's a good thing from, from my perspective anyway, that that's not immediately what jumped to mind when I mm -hmm. heard, yeah. say, this song or even some of the other stuff, yeah. so, because sometimes, man, like, the Arctic Monkeys have such a, like, distinctive sound when you, when bands are, like, hyper derivative of that, it just, it just sounds yeah, exactly yeah, like yeah, Arctic exactly Monkeys, that. you know, mm -hmm. and you don't, which is good, you know, you've got your own sound, and so, Arctic Monkeys, what other kind of music do you just like to listen to? Uh, I'd say it's all, it's all different between everyone, mm -hmm, yeah. and we all bring our own like inspirations mm -hmm. that are completely irrelevant. I'd say. Did like, you make your own badges? Uh, no, my girlfriend did. Okay, so cool. We have, we have Arctic Monkeys. Oh, very nice. Yeah. We have um, Queen. Yeah. We have a uh, Thumper, which is a Irish band. band. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty sick. And uh, oh, Oasis. Cool. And Oasis. Oasis. Uh, Oasis. <laughs> How were they made? How were they made? Okay, yeah, right. So we have. How did they come into being? I'm gonna use uh, Arctic Monkeys. So we have bottle cap. Yeah, okay. Oh, so wow. Do show the camera. Yeah, it's, it's, like, a it's a bottle cap. It's, a bottle cap. <laughs> it's like a beer bottle cap. Yeah, and then um, a pin beer. is put through a like can opening thing. Wow. And then you. There's so many like types of beverage sealant. Yes. On that one thing. Yeah. yeah. The bottle cap, Two. the tab. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's more than I expected. Yeah, true. And, and then they're painted or something. They're painted, yeah, but uh, they're awesome. Like That's amazing. Uh, I do like the the Queen ones. Like, yeah. pretty, pretty nuts, man. That's got, like, eight colours on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, obviously, I presume some of these are the your influences. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Queen was what got me into rock music. My dad, yeah, right. on long car rides in, like, in, in, like, my old, like, 2000 Volvo. Right, so, yeah. like, um, he used to play like Queen One, their first album, mm. not like very commercial, but yeah, yeah, I yeah. love, I love the music, um, and um, awesome. that was absolutely massive inspiration. Roger Taylor is still probably one of my favorite drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah incredible. Yeah. And so, did you, um, like, so, so you picked up drums first, or did you? Uh, uh, yeah, drums, drums until July of last year. Mm -hmm. I, I decided to get risky and start guitar. Yeah, that, it's, al it's always good. It's like it, it, it avoids that joke. Um, what do you call someone who hangs around with musicians? <laughs> a drummer, you know, yeah. which is the most ridiculous thing. I never well, played. Well, but until yeah, July, it wasn't like now. I now. never really played a real instrument until a real <laughs> instrument. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, drummers make good guitarists when yeah, they, yeah. they actually have good timing. That's the thing. It's yeah, like you can awesome. tell. You can tell if someone knows how to play the drums, even if they're playing another instrument. Yeah, it's like oh, wow, that's actually in time. And they, yeah. they know like <laughs> they have an understanding of rhythm. It, it really brings like, and playing guitar, I think, as well, will make you. Better at drums. Yeah, like I guess so. branching out like that always kind of everything feeds able, back into itself. I'm able to like communicate, create yeah. ideas instead of like make it sound like that. Like, like do that. Yeah, now. real. <laughs> now, <where's> the band? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put a B minor in that song. <laughs> like, uh, so um, outside of music, we we'll go through these all. What's the when you're not doing music? What's your hobby? What do you like to do? Oh, just, just play video games all the time. Okay, now yep. we're talking. And all right, yeah. what do you what do you like to play? Oh, I'm, I'm I'm a massive fan of the Final Fantasy series. Oh, oh cool. wait, so, do you have a PS5? Oh, sorry, do you have a PS5? I don't. No, oh, I'm, I haven't played. Yeah. No, so what what, what do you like in the yeah, Final Fantasy yeah. series? Sorry, which games? Uh, I've only played uh, Final Fantasy fi 15 and yeah. the Final Seven Fantasy remake. Seven remake. Oh, oh yeah. Good. Um, yeah, like ten and ten two were great. Didn't they re-release mm -hmm. those HD? I think they did. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You can they're very they're turn based, so it's a, very, it's a different experience. Yeah, like, yeah. I love yeah. those games. And 12, 12 was really good as well. That was the first kind of turn based one. Yeah, but it's a, it's it's it's, it's, its own it's thing. Weird. It's not it's an got action an interesting RPG. Like, it's no. got a thing called a gambit system where you like set up. It's so complex. It's like you can yeah. basically it's basically programming. Like you yeah. give your party members like specific things to do yeah. in every instance of like. Yeah, I'm I, I'm a big just hack and slash guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys can go if you want. It's fine. Seriously, I'm a gamer. Yeah. Um, bad? No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll get to everyone else's yeah. games in a minute. Yeah. Did you like hack and slash? Do you like? Uh, did you did you get into the Souls games and stuff? Uh, no, they were too hard. Yes, they're yeah. hard. They're hard yeah, for they a baby man like me. <laughs> yeah. He's finished all of them. Uh, no. So Which I'm, ones have you not finished? I've, I finished Bloodborne, um, Dark Souls three, and Elden Ring. Have you not finished Dark Souls? No, no. Did you I haven't played Dark Souls. Souls. No, I never got that. I played that like when it came out. But yeah, never finished back in the day. And Demon Souls. Yeah, Demon Souls. So many good games. But yeah, they're depressingly difficult. Yeah. Um, Alright, what do you like to do? I don't really have anything. You've had all that time. Well, I don't know why <laughs> you just made go. up the coolest <laughs> hobby. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally can't think of that, and I do, other than like music. I don't know. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with only doing music, man. Yeah. Um, so when you're not doing some music, you do other music? Do you, do, is the bass the only instrument you play or do you no, play? No, I play guitar kind of slowly became my yeah. main instrument. Mm -hmm. Like where I was on electric guitar a lot and now I'm on like acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. Just playing like... Kind making of, a solo album secretly. Nah. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know, yeah, I'm kind of making solo stuff. Cool, excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. And um, yeah, bass is a, is a wonderful, wonderful instrument. What bass did you have? I forgot to look. It's a Harley Benton that I've had. It's oh yeah, the first that's the that one. I ever got. Yeah, oh, really? So nice. Yeah, I just <clears throat> I did a lot of work like setting it up so it was actually playable for yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they're they're grand. Like honestly, oh, especially yeah. with bases, like, like cheap cheap bases. Yeah. No, I did. I I used an SX. I don't think SX exists anymore. <laughs> no, I haven't seen one for a long time. SX are still around though. Are they? Really? Yeah, they're yeah. still around. They're like the world's worst guitars, but yeah. they're, they're kind of not too. Like I got a bass for like eighty euro, like a J bass, uh, years ago. Recorded loads of albums with yeah, it. Sounds so amazing. Like, with decent strings on it's it. Crazy, like. crazy. And then I had an SX acoustic, and I got um, I got a pack of Martin Martin <laughs> guitar strings, 
and I cut out the bit that says Martin and I taped it to the top of cover the SLS logo with tape. From a certain like distance it actually. Oh it was beautiful. It looked really because the guitar was black, the the background of the Martin thing was black. It was like just perfect. Um but yeah it was a complete lie, it did not sound like I thought it did make it sound like it didn't. What do you do on your fun time? I just play a lot of video still here. There's so many other ways you could have What games? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Siege, like Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, oh nice. Siege, yeah, nice. We got yeah. into that, but yeah. no, I have recently, and like, it was because like all of my friends started playing it, mm. and then they said, "Oh, go buy this game; it's fun." And then I bought it, and like the first like long time you spend playing that game will be miserable. I, oh, yes. I can't believe you made it through. <laughs> it's so bad, and I made it through. I got to the other oh, side. Wow. I'm now like halfway decent in the game, and I said, "Guys, this game's great. Actually, you were right." And everyone has stopped playing it. Why <laughs> <laughs> would you game. arrive? Everyone well, hates that game. What are they playing so. now? Uh, no, no, we just kind of bounce between a lot of games. There's like Deep Rock Galactic or some mm. shit. Oh, uh, yeah. We, uh, What's that truck game that really like... Euro Truck? No, um... <laughs> Snowrunner? Snowrunner. It's like the most painfully slow game where you're just yeah. stuck in mud for like... The whole time. Yeah, yeah whole time. I played like a... I, I had, Apparently people love it. I had like a Mud Runner demo on my like Xbox or some shit and I played that a lot. Nice. Swear to yeah, you can swear. Yeah, okay. yeah. Holy shit, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just me yeah, in that case. Wait. In that case. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, the no, I didn't make it through that initial siege thing. I remember one time there was like a, a free weekend. Oh yeah. And I was like, I'm oh, going to yeah. do it. So first of all, they make you do this like offline, like bunch of little campaigns or something. Oh yeah. Which are painful. There's this one on an aeroplane. And like I'm not terrible at video games, but I was really I really just wanted to blast through it, so I was just kind of trying to rush through these <laughs> crap tutorials, you know. And I kept dying on this plane mission that was just like the dumbest thing. I think they're gone now. I hope so. Cause that, <laughs> that, got, that got rid of me, man. <laughs> yeah. I was like an hour in. I'm like, free weekend. I'm gonna get good at Siege and and understand why people like it. <laughs> and then immediately, uh, yeah, just hated that whole thing. I, I got, I did get through that, and I started. Yeah. I played a couple of games, and then I just got absolutely annihilated constantly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I love the concept of it, and I I played a lot of we we played a lot of um Rainbow Six Vegas back in the yeah. day on the 360, that which was, was mm, such a great that's game. What it is. That game. Is one of the worst Best looking blocks. games. Oh. <laughs> one of the, I think that might be the, I think that game might be like the game that has aged the How worst. How is that impossible? In my mind, it looks. I know. Steam. That's it the thing. Amazing. I remember it looking so good, yeah. and now it looks like six. It looks like someone. Do you remember how many gloves all over the screen? Do you remember? Yes. Gloves? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, you could see the like his gloves looked amazing. Sorry, that was just in two thousand and six. We went from like. Like how? What year were you all born? 2006. 2006. No, wow. really? <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys are younger so old. than Rainbow Six Vegas. Oh, Dude, right. I was like, like I was 18, 19 in 2006. <laughs> so, so we, you know, we went from the PS2. Like, have you seen Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PS2? Like, yeah, like, I think I remember. It's pretty, pretty, yeah. it's like, it hasn't aged that bad, but it's pretty terrible. Yeah. And then, and then going from like that as like the most amazing game you've ever seen, pretty much. Although Black looked better, and yeah. and Killzone, Killzone but, anyway. but then to go to 360 and it was just this inc- like massive, massive jump. And uh, to look back now, it looks so bad. <laughs> yeah. It's just I don't know how that happens. It's such a strange. It form. is weird. I think it's to do with like the style of the game, like. Games that try to be realistic, but how did it look Always real then? How? Because it uh, because it's like the most real thing we've seen. Yes, it happens like through any generation. It's if you so see strange. realistic looking games, mm. ten years later they look like absolute yeah. shit. Whereas mm. even like Gears of War, I think aged really well. Gears of War because it's game. like a bit more. Did you Gears of War? Yeah, I had I think Gears of War four on the Xbox 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The OG trilogy. We were midnight launch of Gears of War 2. He's got a Gears yeah. of War 2 sticker on his uh, double base. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes, we do like the video games. Mm. And you, sir? Um, I, I support a bit of football. You what? Like, football, support football. I'm oh, yeah, Newcastle, who you Newcastle United. Newcastle, yeah. how did that happen? That uh, my, my grandmother was born in Newcastle. Oh, okay. oh really? So you've got a real legitimate reason. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And then, um, well, Newcastle are doing all right. They're currently like seventh, I think. But they ended fourth <laughs> last year. Yeah, yeah, last year was good. Did yeah. they? Is there a lot of Middle Eastern money in them? There is, but but because of financial fair play, they can't spend the money. Well, why why can City spend their money? Because they make more money. They're a bigger what? team. And they just broke the rules. They broke the rules. Yeah, they broke the lottery. Times. I know, 150. <laughs> they were both fans. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're both fans. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at the same names. <laughs> Oh. We know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It hurts. Coming second. <laughs> so many times. 
I and just like the also like you know I, I saw a stat the other day like Alex Ferguson like obviously I have to respect the guy and you know did an amazing thing but I don't I think I think I could be wrong his United never broke 90 points in a season Mm. And really? Liverpool under Klopp have done it like four times and only won one Premier League yeah. because of Jeez. City. <clears throat> and they're 150 and they can't even fill a stadium. <laughs> Crazy. I don't know football. <laughs> I don't know anything. It's okay. If I want to stay quote on the trend, I like playing Stardew Valley. On my oh, Stardew's good. Oh, nice. Yeah, Just yeah. a quaint little game. Montreux. Did you marry someone? I did. Did you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> my bride. <laughs> we have four children. <laughs> Can you have kids in that game? You can, you can. Oh, really? I don't know that yeah. <laughs> What happens? Do they grow up or like what? <laughs> they, they, they just get to, They get yeah. to a certain age and then they just stop. <laughs> and then you have an option to like sell them. <gasps> no, really? I yeah. wish real life had that option. <laughs> yeah. Once like, you get kind of yeah. sick of them, you can just like turn them into doves and then you get like richer in the game or something nice. like that. You yeah. Turn your into kids into, into doves. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> strangely dark. Um, man, yeah, Stardew, it's very slow. I found it. Yeah. I think that's hours kind of the point. Like 150 <laughs> hours. That's amazing. Pretty awesome. Did you did you name your cows weird things? Oh, uh, I'll find. I can't. I can't think of anything. Yeah, yeah. Anything comic enough? Yeah, I just I just tried to think of like the filthiest, most ridiculous <laughs> small cow that I probably wouldn't repeat on this, even though I could. But <laughs> it's just the worst. Thing. <laughs> so that when you walk into your bar and it's so quaint and lovely and it's just like the worst thing you can imagine to. You're milking it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's the cold open, anyway. <laughs> the worst thing you can imagine, you milking it. Uh, we have a friend who milks. Oh, yeah. Um, Charlene. She's yeah, a professional Charlene. milker of cows. And a freelance. professional bouncer. Bouncer. Oh, how, do you, how, do you, how do you get into that like, realm of work? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. There was like a need for it. She makes yeah. a ton of money, you know. <laughs> we'll have to tell her about uh, that we're talking about her on the series. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, all right. If you, if you, let's say, obviously, you milk plan any a. cow in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you can milk any cow in the world. Who do you milk? <laughs> That's the weirdest. Thing. <laughs> um, so, if you obviously plan A is to become international rock lords, um, but if you had to do another job, what would it be? Uh, I, I don't say something boring. Uh, I'd be doing nursing. Okay, that's pretty yeah, good. Nice. What kind? Of, what kind of nursing? Uh, I I really like doing children's nursing. Yeah, I, nice. I love working with children. Like, cool. yeah, especially like trying to help them. Um, yeah, yeah, nice. All right, sick. We were trying to help these three children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I He's the only one. Yeah, I'm the only one. Oh, really? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think someone was born in March. Mm. So he turns like 18 and soon. Yeah, mm. very soon. Yeah. Wow, nice. So then, then he has to get kicked out of the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's not <laughs> a children anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, what about you? Um, I'm probably just gonna study music in Dublin. So, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's good. So you want to really music? Like, like, like deep want, sea welder or something? Yeah, yeah. Or like, yeah. Or like astronaut. Astronaut, <laughs> like, I don't know, like race car driver. <laughs> astronaut is plan B. Brian May. Be Brian May. Yeah. No, like, yeah. like astrophysics. Oh, he does like astrophysics <laughs> and Queen. Dude, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What does he do in astrophysics? He like he like was one of the like big scientists in like setting up a new like horizon satellite and stuff. And like oh. and then he's like also like performing with Queen. Well, he built his guitar, didn't he? Him and his yeah, band. in the yeah, sixties. Yeah, yeah. He should um, be the first okay. guitarist on the moon. Yeah. True. Yeah. He actually got a lot of um. He got a lot of uh, advice off Rory Gallagher. Oh, yeah. On how to play uh, guitar. On yeah. the moon? No, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like, get Rory, the tell me about the moon, man. <laughs> <laughs> get Rory the Gallagher, sound. moon expert. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, well, see, yeah, I was watching a cool documentary recently, Rory Gallagher, and um, his. Uh, basically, he used like a, a Vox AC10 or whatever and, and a, an EQ pedal, and like, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, he was That's just really fucking it. good at yeah. getting a sound out of an amp. Didn't he yeah. use like a coin as well or something? A coin for a pick. I feel like mm. I feel like yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to do that at a gig once. It was the worst thing ever. <laughs> Is that not Brian May who did that? I think they both did it because Brian May was told by Rory Gallagher. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was. They were real good friends. Mm -hmm. Brian May was was talking about him in that documentary I was watching. Coin pick is the worst thing. I like they did it on purpose. Mm. Have you ever tried it? Yeah. yeah no, it sucks. Good. It sucks. Yeah. And then you have to get like a twang from the ridges in the coin. Wow, so. really? Reggie Coin. Sounds like a 
country star. Mm. <laughs> you <call it>. Um <laughs> Yeah. Hey, speaking of music, let's listen to the song you got. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Are yeah. you guys gonna go over there and yeah, play a song, right? Win. Um so well before we listen to it, tell us about it. So um the song is called Take Me and I, was, I originally made the riff around maybe May last year? Mm-hmm. No, not uh, this year. Okay. And I brought... It. No, last year. <laughs> Dude, it's May February. hasn't happened this year. Oh! It, 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 <laughs> no, it's 2021. Oh, Two for I'm president. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still mentally in 2020. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think everyone is. <laughs> um, yeah, so May, May last year, brought it to the band in October, and I was like, hey, guys, this is a serif I made. And they're mm-hmm. like, oh, that's, that's cool. It's, it's all right. <laughs> and then I put lyrics to it and stuff, they're like, oh, it's better. And then, <laughs> and then we came together and we made it. Uh, yeah. There isn't really a, a big meaning behind the lyrics, so just, no. just kind of well, a bunch of or maybe there is. Yeah. Maybe there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let, let people discover it. We actually themselves. don't know. Find out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Listen to the song. Yeah. Um, so this is "Take Me" by Dopamine. Yeah. 
went back. What a great song that <laughs> was. <Wow. laughs> Love the bit with the riffs. Yeah. Um, did you come up the the like the because obviously there's the solos and stuff, but there's a couple of nice lead guitar lines and stuff in there. Yeah, I was kind of if you've ever heard Muse's first album. I've heard some of it. Yes. Yeah, it's this really funny like contrast because it's like <coughs> almost like emo music the whole way through, oh, but well. then a lot of the guitar yeah. in some of the songs is really really bluesy. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. I just kind of put that in there because I found it funny, but then yeah, I liked it. Nice. Oh, cool. it sounds oh, sick, man! Yeah. Like it's it's really cool, and it's like I was saying to you before, like. You know, it's it's in indie rock. I guess would be like the the, the broadest mm -hmm. description of it. But certainly, like I'm, I hear you know a lot of kind of '60s and '70s kind of garage references, and in, in terms of the sound, and, and also the guitars, and and you know that you're choosing to use as well. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it really speaks to that. And, and uh, you see a resurgence, especially because um, what what are they? Are they uh, Mustang? No, Jazz Masters that you're playing. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, it's so funny. It must have been like in the last ten years, Fender must have just been looking at their things like everyone's buying it. Because <laughs> yeah. because they've yeah. got the shoegaze and yeah. then kind of the post punk thing, you know. And it's yeah. they've just got such a great look, a great, great sound. And um, what's his name, uh, Johnny Marr as well. I think uh, mm, yeah was a great proponent of that guitar. But he he played every type of guitar under the sun. He had Rickenbackers and everything. Um, but yeah, so oh yeah, um, like and subscribe. <laughs> oh yeah! Thank you for getting to do that. Ring the notification bell. Ring my notification that, bells. All that stuff, please. <laughs> do it. Um, so you guys, what have you got? Come on, wait, did we do everyone's amazing job? We did yours. What's yours? Uh, yeah, he's been there. He's like, I've got a great one. <laughs> <laughs> do not change the subject. It's just when you moved on to the song, he like turned over and went, I didn't get seven. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What do you want uh, to be? Other than Literally, honestly, I just want to do like something very similar to this. So just be a house engineer in like a studio. Okay, that's okay. good. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. one of the more stable. This is this is this is this is the uh, this is him plugging. This is like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And here's my know. CV. And here's my CV. And I'm yeah. an internship. And <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's yeah, a great that's idea. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And and also like, well, you never know what will come from out of that kind yeah. of stuff as well. Mm. Like, it, anytime you're working in music, no matter what you're doing. Opportunities come up for yeah being for in other bands things, yeah. yeah doing session musician work um, doing live sound all that kind of stuff live sound is a bit live sound is pretty horrible yeah. <laughs> no live sound has never sounded all that good no it's uh you know you got to deal with bands yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and no one likes each other it's just really hard um, it's great it is great as a band when you get a really good sound engineer but but I've had the experience doing. Being in bands, doing studio work, and then also like um, filling in for a friend, doing live sound a couple of times, and um, it was such an eye opener. It was so horrible, actually, because <laughs> like the way you get treated as a not by all musicians, but by some musicians mm. as a sound engineer, I'm like, oh, bad people actually get treated like this yeah. all yeah, the yeah, time. So, so, mm. Wow, it's like. That's why sound engineers are so grumpy. Like that. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Everything makes mm. sense. Like they can't. Like it's just you know. Can you make my guitar sound or whatever? And like, and even more so. It's like, and it's like, I'm a musician. I know exactly what you're talking about. So talk to me like I'm a, an idiot, you know. And of course, most sound engineers are musicians in there. Yeah. Fundamentally, at the end of the day, they're human beings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you I mean? Start like, a charity for sound engineers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, the, studio the sound right. engineer lights over. Help one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to end it all. Um, you, sir. Uh, also, big into sound. Um, I think when I would like, when I think if I was good at school, I'd try psychology. Oh yeah, nice. but it's a lot of points. It's mm. a lot of points. You'd be grand. You seem smart. Yeah, but like, it's like book smart. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leaving certain high level chemistry is not kind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to do chemistry. For I'm doing chemistry. Psychology. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't have to, but I'm doing two sciences. Uh, I think it did. I think it did. It did make sense because of the um, the the psychiatric medication aspect of it. Having a background in chemistry, I suppose. You know. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. No astronauts. No stunt motorbike guys. No. Nothing. What would you do if you were, were a musician? Mm, I don't know. Like a pirate or something. Maybe that. That's a good one. Actually, I was yeah. thinking of it. I've thought of a few things. I've thought of. You know what? You could pull it off. I can definitely, yeah. <laughs> All right, I just need the, the, I need my guy liner back on, and then I'll be fine. The, uh, I think I, my plan Z in life, if everything just goes terrible, is, um, is career, mm. like bicycle career. Oh. Yeah. And then just drink on the canal when you're not careering, <laughs> you know. Um, but other than that, I think I thought of the Foreign Legion once. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. But yeah, I'd want to maybe like. 
kill some people first or something. Yeah, I don't know. You, if have, you, to do, you have to do something terrible to join the Foreign Legion, I think. Mm. Don't you? What is Probably. That? I mean, the French get into it. Oh, sorry. It's it's like French, the French, French Foreign Legion is a, is a is a, a wing of the French military that's made up of like all people who have like done terrible things and have given up on life and they just send them on like insane missions. Huh. Yeah. They probably that, that is sort of like It's a good plan, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean you'd have an adventure anyway, yeah. but yeah. It, it's like grueling apparently like they treat you like absolute. I think I'd actually change my answer to a lighthouse keeper. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's well, good. Imagine you know what she'd read. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Light, like you you get a free housing. You're barely yeah. even working. You just have to make sure the light is on. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. Then, we have one yeah, job. Literally <laughs> one job. And like, Imagine messing that up. That'd be the worst. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about like, rent. Job. What? You don't have to worry about rent. Yeah, yeah. The lighthouse is your house. It'd be cozy. Yeah. You know, you just read books, listen to yeah. the sea all day. Yeah. I've thought about like farming or something. Sorry, you farming, yeah. farming? No, that's terrible because you're up at six every day. Yeah. Farmers, farmers have the highest yeah, suicide burn. rate. Really? Yeah, yeah farmers wow. kill themselves most. Mmm. <laughs> 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 I love it. What about um, monk? I'd, I'd be a monk. That'd be grand. Oh yeah. Living. Oath of silence. Yeah, yeah. I'd, well, it'd be very difficult for me. <laughs> Where's the money in that though? There's no money in monk. <laughs> yeah. There's no money in being a monk. <laughs> Absolutely not. There's lots of like, just, yeah, silence and reading. Mm. And and you can, you can like, um, translate manuscripts. Uh, yeah. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, you'd have to like learn so so far Latin and Greek. Far and, yeah. or Monk, there's like two. And oh, like, yeah, they're very, both very different, aren't they? Yeah. They both speak to different parts of my personality. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, those are some ideas for you guys, you know? If you... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, something with like. Yeah, maybe like a trucker or something. Some yeah, some free, somewhere like, you're you know, like on your own and you get to just. You don't have to deal with too many people. Because, like, this life is really good. Yeah. You know, we just play music and, like, have adventures and quests and stuff. Mm. Like, it's so yeah, much like a video game. Yeah, it is. You know, like, especially doing the live the live gigging stuff, the way we did it, we, we geeked, like, full-time for years, and it was just literally like Skyrim. Like, you just yeah. walk into, like, inns <laughs> and just uh, find the manager and just ask them if they give and you a job. And then they tell you to talk to someone else. Yeah, and... yeah, 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 yeah. Come back on Tuesday. <laughs> and it's like, okay. And then and some then we yeah we made money and, and had it. What's wrong with your finger? No, I hammered it the other day. Oh, was it a bit bar. big? <laughs> <laughs> or is it always that big? I, I think it's I think it's a really okay. good size. I heard my pinky yesterday catching a guitar. Really, it's a dangerous life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so wait, wait, how did you? It fell off the strap, and I just like grabbed it like uh, instinctively, and I banged my pinky. But it was great. Um, okay, so before we wrap up, what? Because we'll just talk. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> uh, what is next for dopamine? What can people expect from the meanies? That's better than the dopes. No, no, no it's excellent. Um, that song got... that we played just mm -hmm. a few minutes ago is on the album. That is on the album. Excellent. It's not released. That's unreleased work. Great. Ooh, um, nice. yeah. Yeah. A teaser. A gig. <laughs> gig, gig on, on this Sunday. Well, I don't know when this is. It, it'll be out February 18th. Sunday. February 18th. Travel back in time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it probably won't be out before then. Right, but. That's probably, uh, February 18th, uh, we had a great gig with mm. DC Dolls, the Marks, and the, uh, the uh, Black Pits. On February 18th. On February, February 18th. Yeah, wasn't it great? It was so uh, great. That's a good... We're getting DC Dolls on the podcast. Really? Ooh, a little okay. future... Future... It's in the future. <laughs> <laughs> the future. Who are the other bands on the thing? Uh, Black Pits. I the think Marks. I follow them. And where are you playing? Uh, Sound 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 yeah. And then um, we have April 14th nice. with uh, Tanks Mom. Oh, uh, oh nice. Where's yeah. that? That's, that's in the Sound Houses again. again. That's with yeah. Tanks Mom, Broken Fred, and um, Urban Hours. All right, that'll, that'll, that'll be somewhere else, probably. Yeah. And obviously, once you guys are, is that in for gigs at the moment? Uh, we have we were put on a festival in uh, Leash, Forest nice. Fest. Nice. We were put nice. on the first line of it, which is great. Excellent. Uh, we're this third, third year in a row. Great. Well, yeah. Excellent, great. A bit of uh, hometown representation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's literally like a two minute walk from my house, yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah. nice. And and get so them to pay you for like your travel expenses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, um, then finally, the, the other thing I was just going to say is um, when he, when he's all 18 and you can do like a Wheelands or a, something like that. Uh, I'm I'm on the last turn 18, so yeah. November 27th. Oh, oh that's yeah. a wild one. Yeah. What's that gig? What's yeah. that gig, baby? Start practicing towards it. You're in college by then, are you? Oh, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd been in college by then. Nursing it up? Oh. Yeah. Nice, excellent. <laughs> and so, one last question. Um, 
you know, because you guys, you know, you're a young band and, and you've been playing for, together for like three years, you've done Sound House and you've, did you say you did the Grand Social as well sometimes? Oh, uh, no, no uh, we were looking at doing yeah. something mm. then, uh, but Grand Social would definitely be one we'd love to do. Yeah, we'd yeah. Rest, yeah it's, it's an amazing venue yeah. and the sound is so good and it's up nice and high and mm. um, get a real good sense. We saw, um, Cry went there yeah. in 2022. Are they called Cry Yeah, yeah. Great, great, name, great name. Great band, though. Awesome band. Where are they from? Uh, Manchester. Yeah, oh, nice. okay, well, uh, and was that a, an all ages or a 16 plus? Something? Oh, 16 plus. Yeah. Oh, so, cool. sweet, sweet, sweet. And how can everyone find you on social media and all that kind of stuff? Look, I've said too much. No, <laughs> he's a great speaker. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Dopamine. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's Instagram, Twitter, all your favorite platforms. Your yeah. favorite platforms? Nice. X. 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Do check these guys out. Lovely young dudes and also um, great musicians. And we were absolutely thrilled to have them on the podcast. We'll see you again soon. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.